Hey guys, PyGuyRules here, and I want to talk to you today about the realism behind one of the most commonly suggested improvements for any given network. You've all posted comments, I've said it a lot in the past, I'm talking about why doesn't Cartoon Network just bring back the Powerpuff Girls? Why doesn't Nickelodeon just bring back Rugrats? Why doesn't Fox just bring back Futurama? Why doesn't X Network just bring back Y Show? Well, let's actually sit down and talk about this realistically right now, because it is very easy to suggest such a thing. But we need to think about the ramifications of all of this. There's a few facts that I want to bring to the forefront here. Fact number one, availability of cast and crew. Now this one's a no-brainer. If the cast can't or won't get back together, then there really is no point in remaking the show. Why bother, right? If you're going to make the show with an entirely different cast or entirely new crew, the show is just going to be a husk of what it once was. It's just going to be the name of the show and some very superficial aspects with a bunch of different people behind it. That's not to say it will be horrible, but it will definitely be different, and if that's the case, then why even bother bringing it back in the first place? Fact number two, the show might come back wrong. Just like in a cheesy horror movie where you try to resurrect someone, they're probably not going to come back the same way you wanted. Yes, all the parts might be there, heck, the original cast and crew might even all sign on. But even in that best case scenario, there's no guarantee that that magic that made that show great the first time will still be there. People get rusty when they haven't done something in a long time, or maybe they want to take the show in a different direction that really doesn't work. Or worse, maybe this was a network mandate and the network wants them to do something with the show that they wouldn't have originally done. Fact number three. A lot of companies, including television companies, have pride. And this is a bad thing. What do I mean by this? Well, if a network has cancelled a show because they say it's not getting the ratings it should, or because they think it's a bad decision, they're not going to be so eager to hire them back, even if it would be such a great decision to do it. Unfortunately, companies are headed by people with a lot of pride and a lot of stubbornness, and they're not often willing to admit when they're wrong. A lot of companies think it might reflect poorly on them if they went back on their decision, even if it's what everyone wants and what would make them money. It's stupid, but it's a true fact in the industry. Fact number four, it is a risky endeavor. You bring something back, as I said, there is no guarantee it will still be as great as it once was. So if a company brings back a show and it's as great as it was and fans love it, then great, your approval rating is through the roof. But if you bring back a show and fans don't love it, fans are going to start blaming people like the company. And that is not good. If Nickelodeon were to bring back Rugrats, per se, and they made really bad episodes, people aren't going to like Nickelodeon because of it. Nick's approval rating is already in the toilet, so if they were to try and do something like this and it were to fail, their public image would look pretty dang bad. And fact number five, perhaps the most important of them all, time. It all matters on how much time has gone by since the show has ended. If it's been a very long time, the odds are you're not going to be able to get everyone. The odds are the people who once made the show, even if you got them back, aren't still going to know how to make the show great. And it's just going to be a complete mess. However, if the timing is only a few years, then yeah, it's entirely possible that you could get the cast back, you could get the crew back, the people would still know how to make the show right, and it could be a success. Family Guy came back after only a few years, and same thing with Futurama. Let me put it to you this way. If the show is over a decade old, odds are it's not coming back, and if it did, you probably don't want it coming back. But again, these are generalizations. Shows from a long, long time ago can totally come back, and they can be successful, but statistically speaking, that's not how it happens. If it's been a long time and it comes back, it comes back a flop. Even if it's only been a few years and it comes back, it still probably won't be the same quality. Look at Futurama's Comedy Central episodes compared to their original run on Fox. I personally like their Comedy Central stuff, but I have to admit it is nowhere near as great as it once was on Fox. 
I don't know if it has something to do with the timing. I don't know if it has something to do with the longer a series goes on, it gets worse. But there is definitely a change, and it definitely is a little bit of a decrease in quality. Now let's not forget that even with statistics, there are ridiculous outliers. Arrested Development was off the air for like eight years, and when it came back, in my opinion, it was the best season yet. Well, that's about all I have for you guys this time. I just wanted to bring up these points so we all think about it, instead of just saying... If Nick brought this show back, they'd be a success again. Or if Cartoon Network brought this show back, it'd be a success again. Or if Fox brought this show back, it would be great. Why don't they just do this? These are the reasons why it is complicated. Not why it can never be done. Why, not why it shouldn't be done. Just why it is complicated. And, yeah, I'm glad you guys can walk away with a little bit of this knowledge here. And that's about it. Pie Guy Rules, out. Hey guys, don't forget to subscribe if you like me, like this video if you, well, like this video, and comment if you have an opinion on anything that I just said. Oh, and I also have a Twitter. Follow me at PyGuyRules. I usually respond to any comments or questions that I get. PyGuyRules, out.